In this documentary story, we split the group into two groups of three. The first group conducts an interview at Muntilupa, Alabang. And the second group conducts an interview at Molino Cavite. In order for us to have a wide scope of the vendors. ng mga vendors tulad mo. Purpose? Apo. Bakit kami nagtitinda? Apo. Ano uh, uh, Ano ang reason na ito yung product na napili nyo pong ibenta? Kasi mainit. <laughs> mainit ang panahon. Kaya kailangan namin ng pangpalagin. Uh, last po, uh, magkano ang kinikita mo po isang araw? Kung sapat po ba ito? Kung sapat po ba yung kinikita? Inagarin nyo araw-araw. Sapat. Sige po. Thank you. Magkano yung kapital? Double yung balik. Example. Diba ba? Kung kapital mo is 1,000, ikita ka ng 2. Ay po. Ano ang purpose ng mga vendors? na sa panahon ngayon ay talamak na talaga yung mga street vendors. Lalo pat ngayon, mga tao na, mga tao ngayon sa bansa ay wala nang sapat na edukasyon. So, kaya mas pinipili nila na yun na lang yung maging hanap buhay. Para sa akin, sobrang dakila nila kasi kung tutusin kahit umulan man, um, umaraw, kahit gano'n pa kainit yan, sasabak at sasabak pa rin sila para lang kumita at mayroon makain sa pang-araw-araw at matustusan yung mga pamilya nila. Or half of the global labor force work in the informal economy. What I'm talking about is that 50% of population in Asian countries are street vendors. Why? Now in the Philippines, Filipinos are, have a very passionate relationship with foods. Foods like balut and kwek kwek. Street vendors are just like us. There are people who want to earn income and profit for their business. They are an integral part of, of our society. But, but there's a problem. The municipal system as legal traders and they are not they are not approved by the society. What could, what would happen if street vendors are not around and if we run out of stocks and foods and supplies? What if would happen if the world would run out of foods? That's the problem. That's why we need, we need street vendors. We think that vendors are just entrepreneurs but despite them being entrepreneurs they live in a tough world we always see them as a successful entrepreneur where they can sell a lot of things to other people but in reality they aren't accepted by the government sure in society we accepted them but in the government it's a different story they are illegally not certified to sell foods but they do it anyway 
because they want to provide for their family. And that drive is the only reason for them to sell their goods, their family. Sa ngayon, aking interview ay ng aking tita na si Marines Ganito. Na siyang may negosyo na party din sa RFC, sa SMOA, at sa SM South Mall. Ngayon po, hello. Hello. Sa po sa kanito po. So, ari ko po kapag hindi po ba kayong mabigyan ng mga hilang katanungan po. Ako. So, sige po. Bilang isang vendor, ano po ang purpose ng mga vendors tulad mo? Pangalawang tanong ay, ano ang reason na ito ng mga ano niyo po, mga product niyo po na pag-denebenta mo po? Kaya yun ito, mga giveaway sa debut. Dito kasi ang mga tao, hindi mo po mga giveaway. Kahit ng simple celebration lang, gusto nila may mga giveaway, souvenir, para sa kanilang celebration. Kaya mga souvenir, ayan. Pambata, pangkasal, birthday. Pangatlong tanong ko ay, magkano ang kinikita mo sa isang araw? Ah, ano, sa tatlong branches ko, lahat na yung mga sa mga malls, ah, ano, 60 per day. Ah, so, yun po, yun lang po ang aking mga katanungan. So, maraming salamat po, Tisa, sa pagkitigay ng oras sa akin. Ah, sige po. Okay, sige lang dadi. Salamat po sa pagpapaunlak ng inyong oras. Okay lang. Salamat din. I think if these vendors are doing a heroic way for their families, heroic way like the, like selling their product to the public just to feed their families and their especially their children. And I am very grateful to these vendors because they are doing right for their families. And I hope that someone like me can make a better place for them. Say is I salute to you vendors because they're doing a good job in trying to find a way to make money and provide um, their needs for their families and I'm really happy for that.